Mm. Interesting. Uh, I do have to say, you're right. It's a fairly complex question and thought. I, I'm not even sure if I fully grasp. I think I, I think I understand. So let me let me respond to that. Like, and if there are some aspects of it that are not fully addressed, and we can talk through it. Um, uh, or I, in in responding and sharing, at least sharing my uh, how I think about it. Forgive me that I might go here and there a little bit. That's like we necessarily articulated. Because it's impromptu, no, this question. So I'm gathering my thoughts from my head. Uh, and so initially it might come across to you like, but, but let, let's work through this. The interesting uh, observation I have about uh, how you share, how you express is that something for you to think about, just, uh, just, as, your, just as your thought partner. You talk about non-dualism quite a bit and you're right uh, everything you said by the way the the way you're thinking i don't find any flaw in it or abhi jo baat keh rahe the or that i don't have any i don't find it controversial or something where i have a problem or i don't agree anything like that but at the same time the interesting thing is ki rightly so you're saying non-dualism as the basis as the substratum to which we have to get and yet all along you are talking in dualistic terms right like that god created we are experiencing uh it's not just non dual it's multitude we the plural ho gaya to dual mein to do hote the god aur baki sab hum milke ek right there dual would be the one and ek aur ek do ek bhagwan hai aur hum sab milke ek dusra hai total aggregate aise do hai और वास्तविक में अद्वैत है नॉन ड्यूअल है तो वो दोनों दो भी नहीं है लेकिन अगर हम कहते हैं कि भगवान है और हम सब लोग अनुभव करते हैं तो इसमें तो हजारों लाखों करोड़ों आ गए हम सब में तो ये तो अद्वैत तो है नहीं द्वैत भी है नहीं ये तो बिल्कुल मल्टीपल हो गया सो इट्स इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट हाउ माया टू यूज योर टर्म फाइन जो वे थ्रू क्रैक्स एंड क्राइविस इन in even in amari vani ke dwara even our vocabulary through it that it's so hard to separate uh that idea i don't know if you're following me but if you're if you're believers in non advait or non dual then there should be there should be no question in our normal talk also or especially about this this conversation but anyway that's a complete uh, arbitrary observation um the second like similar arbitrary con- observation is that two or three times you refer to as god has created god created this um in my experience and interpretation of my experience it isn't so much that god has created this or created that uh it is more that it exists by virtue of god's existence everything exists and it's it's similar to saying ki agar main chalte ja raha hu aur meri uh, meri shadow mere piche pe ja rahi hai तो मैंने मेरे शेडो को क्रिएट नहीं किया है जहाँ जितनी जगह पे मेरा एब्सेंस है उतनी जगह पे मेरे जैसा कुछ दिखाई दे रहा है एंड दैट्स कॉल्ड शेडो मीन द लाइट इज ब्लॉक्ड बाय माय बॉडी एंड देर फॉर वट एवर अमाउंट इज ब्लॉक्ड दैट लाइट शोज एज डार्क एब्सेंस ऑफ लाइट एंड इट अपियर्स एज शेडो आई हैव डन एनी थिंग आई डोंट यून केयर आई डोंट यून नो एंड आई डोंट यून थिंक एंड इट मैटर्स नॉट वेदर द शेडो इज देयर और नॉट और फॉलोज मी और नार समाइम्स ये लंबी हो जाती है समटाइम्स मोटी हो जाती है डिपेंडिंग ऑन द एंगल ऑफ द सन एंड द लाइट एंड टाइम ऑफ डे आई एम नॉट क्रिएटिंग इट एंड येट इट इज इन सेपरेबल फ्रॉम मी द शेरो एग्जिस्ट ओनली एंड ओनली बिकॉज आई एग्जिस्ट एंड द इंटायर शेरो इज माइन अलोन नो वन कैन क्लेम दैट ओ ये उसने नहीं बनाई है मैंने बनाई है या मेरी शेरो है जैसे जैसे तो अगर एक्सप्रेशन की वॉट यू सेंग इफ गॉड एक्सप्रेस हिमसेल्फ इन ड्यूअल वे द्वैत में आकर के तो देन देन दैट माइट मेक हिम इम परफेक्ट इन इट सेल्फ बिकॉज द परफेक्ट इज इन अद्वैत इट्स लाइक सेंग दैट इफ द ओशन 
Ocean should only be still. The moment the ocean moves even a little bit, it is no longer the ocean or that it is not a good ocean or right ocean or a perfect ocean. क्यों क्योंकि वेव्स दिखाई दे रहे तो अभी तो उस पर दो दो दिखाई दे रहे तीन दिखाई दे रहे हजारों वेव्स दिखाई दे रहे इट्स पहले तो सिंगल था ओशन वेन एवर वॉज फॉर्म मे बी लेट्स इमेजिन अ टाइम वेन द ओशन वॉज फॉर्म एंड इट्स अ मेथ ऑबियसली लाइक देर साइंटिफिक बेसिस दैट और दशन देर वॉज नेवर अ मोमेंट वेन द ओशन वॉज एक्चुअली स्टिल एंड देर नेवर विल बी अ मोमेंट वेन द ओशन विल बी स्टिल बट लेट्स ए इफ इट वॉज स्टिल हिलता डुलता नहीं था जब से हिलने डुलने लग गया तो इम्परफेक्ट हो गया ओशन नो ओशन ओशन है ओशन ने वेव्स क्रिएट भी नहीं करी है ओशन को परफेक्शन इम्परफेक्शन की चिंता भी नहीं है चैलेंज भी नहीं है प्रॉब्लम भी नहीं है राइट और रॉन्ग इज ऑल रिलेटिव व्हेन देर इज ओनली वन एंड एवरीथिंग इज इन इट दैट इन दैट वन एंड एवरीथिंग इज दैट वन देन then the imperfect is to then to see the right or wrong right or wrong to say that god imperfect hai uh, is only as wrong as saying god perfect hai what does that even mean god perfect hai when agar god he hai if there is nothing to compare him with this is uh, again based on my my own experience but also uh, scriptural evidence and others agar ek hi hai to fir who is to say how can one say based on what ki god perfect hai right hai wrong hai ye view aisa hai waisa hai i think we do have to accept some relativity we do have to part from the absolute nature to even draw any conclusion अगर एक ही ब्राह्मी चेतना अगर ब्रह्मनिष्ठ है अगर सिंगुलैरिटी है टू यूज योर वर्ड तो फिर सिंगुलैरिटी में वेर इज द क्वेश्चन इफ इफ गॉड इज इफ द अद्वैत गॉड इज बिकमिंग द्वैत गॉड टू एक्सप्रेस इट्स नॉट दैट द परफेक्ट गॉड इज बिकमिंग एन इम परफेक्ट गॉड और दैट गॉड वॉज राइट वेन ही वॉज अद्वैत ना गॉड इज एक्सेप्टिंग अ लिटल बिट ऑफ रॉन्ग Uh, by becoming dwait just to express it is not that in my view it is that in the advait and the dwait form the higher truth than advait and dwait which is the concoction of a limited capability brain the higher truth is that god alone through the dwait and the advait and the millions all of it th- there is always uncorrupted uncontaminated unchallengeable there is only one in all the formations and permutations and combinations and concoctions no matter what it just depends on how we are able to how much how broad or how narrow we are able to perceive uh just say uh, to give another example if when i see something i am using my eyes this actually comes in a scripture called brahma samhita uh and it's a description of krishna there from brahma ji and this is my way of describing it uh when i see i see it with my eyes when i hear something i hear with my ears when i touch something i have to feel with my skin when i smell something it has to pass through my nose and for me to taste something it has to fall on my tongue what if my entire body was such that it it could the whole body could see it didn't matter aankh naam ki zarurat nahi thi mera sara sharir agar chetan tha indriya meri sarva sharir mein vyapta agar hoti thi kahin se bhi main dekh sakta mera ek ek baal bhi dekh sakta hai piche se bhi main dekh sakta and and it seeing a 360 degree vision the whole time kahin se bhi main sun sakta hu kaan aur no kaan kahin se bhi main chak sakta hu कहीं से भी मैं सुन सकता हूँ इफ आई हैड दैट केपेबिलिटी इफ यूनिफॉर्म केपेबिलिटी देन एज गॉड इवन दो आई एम अद्वैत वेन आई टेक रेफ्यूज मोमेंटरली ऑफ द्वैत एक्सप्रेशन यू एन आई बिकॉज वी आर वी वी हैव अ लिमिटेड परस्पेक्टिव माई थिंक अरे ये तो कम हो गया परफेक्ट का इम्परफेक्ट हो गया ही इज टेकन another form thoda thoda contaminated thoda corrupt ho gaya is not full and complete 
लेकिन बिकॉज ही इफ यू इमेजिन द एग्जाम्पल तारा के बिकॉज ही इज एबल टू सी हेयर इन अदर वर्ड्स एक्सपीरियंस एवरी थिंग फ्राम ऑल साइड एट ऑल टाइम्स इन ऑल फॉर्म्स नो मैर वट सच इज द आमनिपोटेंट आमनिशेंट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ हिज गॉड हैड तो इट इज देन लाइक सेंग नहीं भैया ओशन इज नॉट डिवाइडेड इन टू वेव्स यू यू थिंक द ओशन हैज बिन डिवाइडेड इन टू सो मेनी वेव्स बड़ी वेव छोटी वेव द ओशन इज कंटिन्यूस through all the waves the ocean is still single when the ocean was turbulent it was still single the ocean is very still it's still the same and the single and the the high waves and the low waves and even beneath the waves that which you cannot even see the ocean is still the same we think that ye divide ho gaya kam ho gaya upar ud gaya chota ud gaya ocean ke man mein ocean ke drishti mein samudra ke perspective me it's still connected fully connected because it's chetan everywhere now let me expand a little bit if every drop of the ocean on the surface and in, especially on the surface but every drop of the ocean was fully conscious of its existence as the ocean not the drop uh, that uh, every drop knowing that i am fully connected i am single i am singular someone else thinks of me as a tiny drop because they can only see a small drop it's the is the fault of their faculty right of their senses but there's no such thing as a drop if the if the entire every drop of the ocean that is connected to the ocean that is never separate from the ocean that in reality truly is the ocean हम लोगों ने ड्रॉप बनाया उसको अलग करके टुकड़ा करके बाल्टी बाटली में डाल के गागर में डाल करके इफ दैट ओश एवरी ड्रॉप द ओशन वॉज अवेयर आई एम द ओशन एंड देन वो वेव बन गया ऊपर गया नीचे गया नीचे और अंदर गया पानी एट ऑल टाइम्स एन ऑल फॉर्म्स नो मैर वट आई एम दैट सिंगल ओशन सो लेट मी स्लो डाउन एंड पॉज यर जस्ट टू गेट सम रिएक्शन फ्रॉम यू इन माई माइंड देर इज नो क्वेश्चन it makes no logical sense to me to imagine a scenario where god is either imperfect or wrong um it, it, i think it's what we can say is perhaps for our sake or that we think that he has stepped down in a manner of speaking except at a lower state um to become more accessible to us so that how so that he can express his whole completeness in a small limited form which is only palatable which is only accessible to us uh, but that doesn't mean that he's limited himself <coughs> so let let me see where i can uh, where i can enter this uh so to to paraphrase again that that the that the thought is that we can never become god but we're also no less than or we can also be not any less than god and so logically or mathematically if you do a b c that would mean that well then we are god um rationally speaking or जैसे अगर सोने का गहना द ज्वेलरी अ स्मॉल इयर रिंग इन जस्ट वन ईयर से इज दैट आई कैन नेवर बिकम गोल्ड बट आई एम नो लेस देन गोल्ड आई कैन नेवर बिकम दैट वर एवर पीपल टॉक अबाउट गोल्ड वेर एवर आई केम फ्राम हो एवर मेड इट मेड इट मेड दिस ईयर रिंग बट आई एम नो लेस देन दैट इफ अ ड्रीम कैरेक्टर इस थिंकिंग कहीं से सुन लिया किसी दूसरे ड्रीम कैरेक्टर ने कह दिया कि अरे नहीं वो तो सब ये खत्म हो जाता है प्रलय हो जाता है सपना सपना टूट जाता है बाद में पता नहीं किधर चले जाते हैं हम सब लोग लाइक यू एन आए वी कुड से इन और स्टेट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस कि हम लोग जन्म में कहाँ से आए वैसे एक्चुअली आए कहाँ से कहीं से तो आए अगर है तो मैं ऑब्वियसली देर इज अदर थियरी कि है ही नहीं दैट्स दैट्स अ डिफरेंट मैटर अगर आए कहाँ से तो और फिर मरने के बाद एक्चुअली कहाँ जाते हैं ऐसे अगर सपने सपने का पात्र कहे कि 
नहीं वो होता है कोई है कहते हैं देखता है सपना उसमें ये बना हुआ है एंड दैट ड्रीम कैरेक्टर से दैट वेल आई कैन नेवर बिकम द ड्रीमर एज द ड्रीम कैरेक्टर आई कैन एक्चुअली नेवर बिकम द ड्रीमर ट्रू पर आई एम ऑल्सो नेवर एनी लेस दैन द ड्रीमर ऑल्सो ट्रू वॉट दैट मीन्स इज यू आर द ड्रीमर so <clears throat> the the dream character you can never become the dreamer you and i dhruvan can never become god you right and you are also no less than god you also right because god is in your form there's no question of becoming anything it already exists so for all this and that alone can be the full and pure advait or non dual if there is any possibility anywhere at any time for anything other than it alone to exist for even a fraction of a moment even in the smallest form then the whole theory is corrupted the the truth the full truth is so this is one aspect is that it it is impossible it cannot there cannot be anything other than existence itself whatever the existence we call god non dual uh, like you say any any name to it the other uh, or respect to other thought to consider is at least the way i you come across to me is you're still talking in terms of material uh when you say you and me uh it's still the reference more speaks of material you and me like your body my body or this world this that for when or we're talking about god it's not matter it's not material god is not cannot be and and when we're talking about us real us we're not matter either and so if we are spirit god is spirit just like samud sagar and the waves are forms but if we were to talk about water then the ocean and the waves are non different because now wait a minute we're not talking about the forms or the names that are long wave big wave short wave high wave those are just the names based on the form that they have assumed i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the substance that it is made of i'm talking about the water that it is made of i'm not talking about the earring or the bracelet or the finger ring or the nose ring i'm talking about the gold that all of them are made of i'm not talking about the matka hai surai hai pyala i'm talking about the mitti the soil with which all these parts are made um and so you will have to bring more clarity in your thinking about not mixing the matter with spirit material with spirit and so it, in the sense that then god and you are cannot be different they cannot be more than more than one and we don't exist in that sense right a wave truly doesn't exist <clears throat> actually wave does not exist a wave cannot exist walk on the street by itself sair karke aate hai thoda ghum ke market mein ja ke aate hai lehar nahi keh sakti a wave can only exist and does exist so long as it is connected with the ocean because it has to be the ocean for it to exist a form alag baat hai lekin wo pani jab pani se alag ho jaye to fir uske uske astitva ka koi bharosa nahi kab tak rahe na rahe um and so i think maybe maybe put some more thought around clearly separating the material concepts from the spiritual concept and i think in that you will see with greater clarity that spiritually speaking there is only god and so yes you actually are that and there you cannot be any less than god any gagar bhar ke sagar bhar liya that gagar mein jo sagar hai that cannot be any less qualitatively any less or different from the entire body of of the ocean itself so you're right but if you're thinking of the water if you're thinking of the physical form the material form sure as hell ek gagar par pani dal diya to kya hoga ki iska kuch nahi hoga aur ek tsunami aa gayi to gaon ke gaon lut jayenge lakhon log mar jayenge 
materially. So the, how come? How are they not different? They're like, like of course they are massively different. A small tiny ripple is massively different from a big tsunami. Uh, and big tsunami ki koi kimat hi nahi hai pure ocean ke samne, sagar ke samne. Tsunami jitni chahe uchal kud kare kuch fark nahi padega. Sagar apne gambhir sobha mein shant hai, waise bhi, fir bhi. Sare samudra ko ulat kulat nahi kar kar payega. Physically agar uh, soche to. Lekin wo choti si ripple, wo boond, wo gagar mein ka pani, tsunami aur sagar. Is sabha mein agar maine ek jal dekh le, jal ki drishti se agar main dekh raha hu, substratum, the consistent uh, substance that's in there. Then yeah, of course they they are the same. None is less or more than the other. The drop, and the ripple, and the wave, and the tsunami, and the ocean, none of them is any less or any bigger than the other. If I am looking at them as the water that they are, and they are absolutely different from each other, and mightier or weaker than each other. If I am looking at them for the temporary name and form, uh, that that seems to appear. So. Speaking of mind, back to your original question, being a material device, uh, I do believe, contrary to your belief, that if you truly, if if we're, at, if the mind that you speak of is the same mind that I speak of, which is a inner apparatus, which is a device, which, uh, in my in my mind, uh, it has input devices, it has output devices and it has a processor unit if you will to hamare panch indriya jo hai aankhon se dekhte hain hum log the shabd sparsha roop ras gandha the five sensors set of sensors those are input devices they're dumb terminals they as smart as the eye is it really do, knows nothing other than whatever it's been programmed to so all day long it'll just keep seeing whatever comes in front of it same thing with the ears knows this that but the and then there is some packaging that happens in it within it and uh, there is some thoughts that emerge out of it and there is some wrapper that's put around it ahem ka okay, this is what i see this is what i think this means this is what i believe it's going to happen this is what should happen this is what i think should not happen मैं ऐसा करूं मैं वैसा करूं ये जो अहम है मेरे को जो लग रहा है एक ही वस्तु की ओर देख रहे हो कि हम तुमको कुछ अलग लग रहा है मेरे को कुछ अलग लग रहा हो बिकॉज तुम्हारा लिमिटेड अहम कुछ अलग प्रकार का है मेरा लिमिटेड अहम कुछ अलग प्रकार का है वी आर सींग द सेम पर्सन और हियरिंग द सेम साउंड एंड येट वी हैव डिफरेंट रिएक्शंस टू इट बिकॉज आर क्रूसबल्स और और एपरेटस इज सेट डिफरेंटली एंड दैट इज लिमिटेड वी कैन ओनली पर वी कैन ओनली टेक इन लिमिटेड अगर मैं एक लंबा 11 बाय 17 का जो लीगल साइज़ या थोड़े बड़े साइज़ का पेपर होता है प्रिंटर में द बिगेस्ट साइज पेपर एंड देन वी उसको पोंगरी बना के एक टेलीस्कोप जैसा रोल कर दूँ और उसमें से देखना शुरू कर दूँ आसमान में रात के समय और एंड टेक्निकली इन थियरी आई कैन सी द इंटायर स्काई थ्रू दैट लिटल टाइनी पेपर बंडल but only, i can only see it in bits and pieces i mean in, f- f- frankly in theory i can see the whole sky but i don't know that in practice in reality i can actually use that small little paper bundle or even telescope for that matter to see the entire sky and even if i did i can only see it in bits and pieces one one frame at a time not the whole thing at once i can only see the ocean a section at a time i can only experience the ocean a, a, a portion at a time uh because the, the way for me to experience my eyesight is limited and i have to chunk it up and so but in theory you know it is possible for my eyes to see the entire ocean if i was high enough in fact if my the angle of my vision was broad enough if i had the vision far enough then i could take in the entire ocean in a single sight uh it is possible but but i cannot because it's limited aise hi man ka hai ki yeah the capa- the capability is there but the capacity is not because like, satchidananda swarup hai hamara we are ourselves identical to god not like or similar to but identical to god uh the the final and and supreme truth his 
imperishable nature is our imperishable nature, the Satya Swarup, the forever lasting. So much so that it's not that it will exist forever. It's actually, it is existence. Then where is the question of existing forever or not? A Chetan, right? Sat Chitta means a Chitta hai. It's not that it knows everything. It is knowledge. It is the ability with which anything can be known to begin with. And therefore, the first thing that has to be there to know anything is the ability to know. As soon as that ability falls on whatever the object of knowledge is, it's right there. And I am that. You are that. And then similarly, Ananda, the joy. That a reminder of joy when we eat something or see someone or whatever, but we're, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't experience joy if joy was not within us already, if it didn't exist already, because it's not material. So, uske jasa identical, uh, and so in, the, in that sense, I think it makes sense. Your, your sentiment, no wonder, uh, no wonder you're feeling like uh, it's not. It's not that I cannot understand God or that I cannot comprehend God. I agree. However, if you only rely on the device of the mind, if you think I'm going to comprehend God, I'm going to understand God with my mind, then not. Because you're using a very small, very limited device to try to... Katori-katori-bhar-ke bhar ke yourself are. And so again, I think where the challenge comes is the mix-up between the material and the spiritual. Mind is a material device. It depends on every all things material. Mind is mercilessly dependent, helplessly dependent on everything material. All of its subjects are material, its objects are material, the thoughts are everything about the mind, where it lives is material. In the body, in the universe, everything is material, is steeped in material. And yet, you're talking about measuring or perceiving or experiencing something that is, has no connection with material. It's a spiritual, uh, with the material device. It's, no, it's not going to be possible. Um, you, though, my brother, are not material. Your mind is, you are not. And so you can experience fully God. Your mind cannot. You can. Uh, because you are spiritual and so is he. And there really is actually no difference. You and I don't ex- exist. He alone does, even in our forms. And there is a clear, logical, uh, experiential way to get there. But if you keep mixing up between material and spiritual, then it could it could keep creating challenges for you, I think, in my humble experience. <laughs>